the official opening session of Sanganai. Um, may I recognize the, pres the presence of uh, the acting Minister of Environment, Climate, Tourism, and Hospitality Industry, Honorable Jay Muskwere, the acting Secretary for Environment, Climate, Tourism, and Hospitality Industry, uh, Dr. Douglas Runyoa, and all directors from the ministry. The senior government officials are here present. Uh, the board chairperson of the Zimbabwe Tourism Authority, Ms. Mawere, and all board members are here present. The acting chief executive officer of the Zimbabwe Tourism Authority, uh, Mr. Give Mochi Zizi, and all senior staff from the Zimbabwe Tourism Authority. The president of uh, the Tourism Business Council uh, of Zimbabwe, Mr. W. Nau. Uh, the chief executive officer of the Tourism Business Council of Zimbabwe, Mr. Matamisa. Captains of the industry, in particular the tourism industry. Uh, may I also recognize all delegates who have joined uh, this meeting, both are physical and virtual. Members of the fourth estate, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you are all welcome to the official opening of the Sanganai. Uh, this year's Sanganai Expo is going to be held uh, differently uh, compared to other years. Why? Due to COVID-19 pandemic, which is restricting us from having our uh, face-to-face um, interactions. Um, so as a result, uh, we are going to meet like through our virtual platforms using the hybrid style um, where we have uh, some few delegates here at Nikos Hotel, uh, Harare. And we also have some of our delegates um, joining in from their respective uh, places virtually. Uh, the 2021 Sanganai Expo has it attracted quite a number of um, exhibitors and buyers. Uh, these are coming from different uh, countries like uh, namely in South Africa, Zambia, uh, Namibia, Botswana, Rwanda, and we also have buyers from Asia, Australia, Middle East, um, Europe, as well as Africa. Uh, without taking much of your time, uh, allow me to call upon um, uh, Mr. Mawarire, the uh, board chairperson of the Zimbabwe Tourism uh, Authority, uh, to give us welcome remarks. Thank you. The acting minister of environment, climate, tourism, and hospitality industry, honorable Mswere, Acting Secretary for Environment, Climate, Tourism, and the Hospitality Industry, Varnyoa. Colleague board members here present. Acting Chief Executive of the Zimbabwe Tourism Authority, Mr. Chidzidzi. President of the Tourism Business Council of Zimbabwe, Mr. Nau. Chief Executive of the TBCZ, Mr. Matamisa. I'm not seeing him here. Uh, maybe he's attending virtually. 
CEOs of respected organizations and companies, all government officials here present, ZTA, management and staff, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Okay, let's start again. Good morning. I'm just trying to make my technology work here. In the meantime, just look at the person next to you and just smile. Don't say anything, just smile. Ladies and gentlemen, I am standing here and I'm looking around this room and I am filled with joy and optimism that our sector will rebound soon. Your presence today, both physical and virtual, is sending a strong message of moral support to me and my team at the Zimbabwe Tourism Authority. We continue to live in unprecedented times, times that call for innovative ways to do business. And I'm happy therefore, that despite the difficulties facing the sector, we are able to still provide a platform for the sector to re-engage with the various source markets. I'm certain that collectively, we can make our sector great again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the second year that we are hosting a virtual Sanganai Sanganani, but we remain optimistic that 2022 shall allow us to have more physical contact with our markets and with each other. Tourism can only thrive when travel fully resumes and the markets are able to come and see the destination at first hand. While tourism continues to be one of those sectors that were hit hardest by the COVID-19 pandemic, and while the outlook remains uncertain, we still say the show must go on as the adage goes. This year, we have over 100 buyers who have registered from all the key source markets, and the majority of those are from South Africa. And as of today, Honorable Minister, we have over 140 exhibitors who have registered for the expo from six countries, and those include Rwanda, South Africa, Botswana, and Zambia. The virtual platform, which was developed in-house, so all of this that you see, Honorable Minister, was developed in-house at ZTA. It has been enhanced to include an on-demand meeting request platform, live HD video conferencing, interactive and topical weather se webinar sessions, and 3D virtual exhibitor booths. It was prudent, we believe, to enhance these features of the platform so that we remain competitive and keep abreast with international virtual platforms and standards. The platform has also been made user-friendly and participants can now schedule meetings using their respective time zones. So my duty here was simply to give you the all welcoming remarks and I would want to take this opportunity to do exactly that and, and welcome you all to the official opening of the 14th edition of Sanganai Sanganani World Tourism Expo. We all look forward to a business generating ed edition and exciting tourism discussions. Enjoy yourselves, good networking, good friendships, exchange business cards and have a good day. Thank you very much. The Sanganai Sanganani World Tourism Expo will be held virtually from the 27th to the 29th of October 2021 in line with the global trends and the new normal. Thank you very much, uh, Board Chair, for such a welcome. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, at this point in time, I now invite you all to um, the virtual tour of Sanganai, the 14th edition from our screen. The Sanganai Sanganani World Tourism Expo 
will be held virtually from the 27th to the 29th of October 2021 in line with the global trends and the new normal. We created a virtual platform to allow for tourism operators to network and reconnect with international buyers regardless of the travel restrictions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Participants log on to the website www.sanganayatourismexpo.com and choose to register as an exhibitor or a buyer. Exhibitors can select their preferred package, namely bronze package, which is free of charge and allows an exhibitor to create an online profile, upload their company details, promotional video, logo, and up to 10 media files. The silver package entitles the participant to a virtual booth this booth offers a 3D visual of the exhibitor's products and services. The 3D booth also allows the exhibitor to add up to three shared accounts for scheduling meetings. Visitors to the booth can leave contact details for the stand owner should they not be available to chat at the time of contact. Media content is uploaded directly to the booth and easily viewed with a click of a button. The gold package allows the exhibitor to customize their booth with the option to choose the preferred display. The customer the option allows the extra branding and increased visibility as the exhibitor has no limitations with the outlook they desire. The gold package also allows the exhibitor to view all the participants who have visited their booth and collect a database of contacts easily. Key to this platform is the scheduling of business-to-business -business meetings. The system allows participants to schedule meetings, taking advantage of the 24-hour time frame. The system also offers flexibility for participants to schedule meetings, cognizant of the different time zones of buyers in the source markets. Participants can structure their diaries to allow for meetings at times that they are available and close of times when their schedules do not permit. Participants can also register for interactive web sessions that will touch on topical issues in the tourism industry. Upon registration, delegates create a username and password that they will use to join the webinar sessions running throughout the virtual exhibition. The virtual platform will be active throughout the year and participants may still schedule meetings and derive contacts from the platform. Sanganai Sanganani, Africa's premier business exchange. Yeah, that, that's the beauty of ICTs. We can be able to do business even under lockdown measures, under the restrictions of COVID-19. We can do wonders. Um, let me, at this point in time, um, call upon the acting secretary for the Minister of Environment, Climate, Tourism, and Hospitality Industry to introduce our guest of honor. Thank you very much, uh, Director of Ceremony, uh, Ms. Gladys Nyerere, uh, for facilitating this event uh, this far. At this juncture, allow me to recognize you, uh, our Honorable Acting Minister of Environment, comma, Climate, comma, Tourism and Hospitality Industry, full stop, Honorable Mswere, who is here with us today. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Minister Sen. Let me also recognize senior government officials that are here from the various ministries. Uh, we have come to support this 14th edition of Sanganai. The board chairperson of the Zimbabwe Tourism Authority, Mr. Ray Mawerera, uh, and your court regime of uh, board members who are here today. Let me also recognize the acting chief executive, Mr. Chizizi, and your team of management, those that are here and the crew behind the scenes who are making this event tick. I also want to recognize Mr. Wenau, the president of the Tourism Business Council of Zimbabwe, uh, who is also here with us today. All the captains of the tourism industry who are here physically and those that are joining uh, virtually. Members of the fifth, fourth estate, ladies and gentlemen, my brief is very clear and forthright. I'm here to introduce to you our guest of honor for the 14th edition of Sanganai. 
Ladies and gentlemen, our guest of honor is currently the Minister of Information, Communication, Technology, Postal, and Korea Services. That's the full name of the ministry is currently heading. He has been in government uh, since November 2019. In his current capacity, ladies and gentlemen, he is envisages the transformation of Zimbabwe into a smart nation through a robust program which pushes for the development of digital infrastructure, digital skills, ICT innovation, and industry growth. He's an elected member of parliament for Makoni West constituents. So if you think he won't convince you today with his speech, you must think otherwise. Because if he was able to convince people to vote for him, I'm sure that speaks to the volume about our, our guest of honor today. No doubt he has vast experience gained over many years working in the mining, construction, manufacturing sectors, and more importantly, in the realm of ICT where he is leading today. He was several academic and professional qualifications, but chief among them is that he holds a doctorate degree in management and business leadership and a master's degree in business administration. He's not satisfied with that. And currently he has submitted another thesis for a PhD in development studies measuring in information communication technology. So next time we meet him, he will be Dr. Dr. Honorable J. Muswere. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our guest of honor is also the current chairperson of the African, the Pan-African Postal Union uh, on behalf of Zimbabwe. And this position he will hold until the year 2025, specifically in July. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, our hands together for the acting minister of environment, climate, tourism, and hospitality industry. Honorable Mswerese, I invite you to address us. Thank you, you can be seated. Thank you. Uh, the director of ceremony, uh, the acting secretary in the Ministry of Environment, Climate, Tourism, and Hospitality Industry the ZTA board chairman, uh, the ZTA uh, uh, acting chief executive officer, Mr. Shizizi, uh, the chairman of the Tourism Business Council of Zimbabwe, captains of industry, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, comrades and friends, members of the fourth estate. Uh, good morning to you. As of no energy, good morning to you. Yeah. Thank you. It gives me great pleasure that I've been invited to officially launch the Sanganai Kyanganani World Tourism Expo today here in Arare, the metropolitan province of Zimbabwe. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sanganai Kyanganani World Tourism Expo is a platform where exhibitors and buyers meet. It is a platform where buyers secure business packages from Zimbabwe and Africa. It is a platform where the use of ICTs is now the game changer. And this year's 2021 conference is a hybrid conference where the use of ICTs as the catalyst and enabler is more than important. Distinguished guests, there are a number of measures that the government of Zimbabwe has taken to support the Sanganai Sanganani World Tourism Expo. 
in terms of infrastructure, there's been the upgrading and modernization of borders. There's been an upgrading and modernization of airport infrastructure. There was also the launch of the National Tourism Recovery and Growth Strategy by His Excellency the President, Dr. Edim Nangabo. And the focus has been to ensure that by 2025, we should have a $5 billion tourism industry in this country. Distinguished guests, Zimbabwe and Africa prides itself amongst the safest tourism destinations in the world with a great potential to surpass the 639,000 visitors who visited Zimbabwe in 2019, in 2020. And in 2021, we need to harness more numbers as we ensure that Zimbabwe is the preferred tourism destination. Government has also developed a raft of measures in terms of ICT infrastructure by ensuring that everyone who will visit any tourist destination, tourism destination will be connected. Ladies and gentlemen, Zimbabwe has got the big five. Zimbabwe has got a number of tourism destination site, sites across all provinces in this country. Not only do we pride ourselves with the flora and fauna, we're also ensuring that the strict enforcement and adherence of World Health Organization's COVID-19 protocols. This plus other measures across all sectors of, econ of the economy will ensure that Zimbabwe becomes the number one tourism destination. With these few remarks, ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, it is now my singular honor to officially open the 2021 Sanganai World Tourism Expo. I thank you. Um, another round of applause to our Honorable Minister for such invaluable uh, information is giving us. And the, the beauty of it is, uh, is from ICTs. Uh, we are embracing the issue of ICTs as the tourism sector. Um, may I kindly uh, request you, Honorable Minister, to come again to the uh, podium uh, for the toast to mark uh, the official opening of um, our Sanganai 2021. May I, also, may I also invite the acting secretary, Dr. Douglas Rinoa to join the honorable minister. Um, the Zimbabwe Tourism Authority board chair. The acting chief executive Zimbabwe Tourism Authority. the president um, of the Tourism Business Council of Zimbabwe, including the director of ceremonies. Thank you. Okay. Um, 
and also all the ladies, we are also invited. So maybe what we can do, we can just raise our glasses, then we go. Sanganai. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Um, we are now coming to the end of our program. Um, allow me to call upon uh, Mr. Wenau, the president for the Tourism uh, Business Council of Zimbabwe, to give us uh, the closing remarks. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Madam Director of Ceremonies. Uh, Honorable Minister, uh, Swere, Chief Director, Warunyoa, Board Chair, ZTA, and all protocols observed. Uh, my task is simple, Minister, uh, just to give a vote of thanks. Kukutendai, to be our guest. To, uh, we know we have a tight schedule. We were listening to you, giving us a rundown of your programs and just the commitment of coming here and being with us on this event. And more so, you being the lead minister in the innovation of this technology. So we have two fronts that we are thanking you. Your personal commitment to come here, as well as your assistance in making sure we did not cancel Sanganai Shanganan this year, as we did last year. Innovation. Minister, I would like to tell you if one thing. We might be known for some things that are not good, but there are also a lot of things that we have now become very advanced, thanks to the ICT in this country. Minister, we are one of the countries in Africa, in, in the world, that is able to deliver a PCR certificate within two hours. We are one of the first countries to manage to have the QR code readable so that fake and counterfeit certificates are out. That's ICT. <laughs> Colleagues who are here physically and those who are also here virtually are supporting this event. We can't be on our own as an industry without support of our stakeholders, government, private sector, and of course our buyers. Everybody's commitment is appreciated. We have seen the virtual innovation minister and we appreciate it. But this is so old school. They can meet virtual and uh, propose virtually and probably even marry virtual. But uh, we, we have, there's a time when we, we can't have virtual, we need physical. So as industry, we need to work towards a complement, a situation where we complement the virtual and the physical so that our visitors can physically experience the beauty of our wildlife, the beauty of our attractions, fauna and flora, as well as our culture and people. With those remarks, let me thank everybody who have spared their time, precious time, I must say, to be here. And we look forward to another successful um, Sanganai Sanganani in the events to come and years to come, virtually, even after post COVID, we still will have an option of having both physical as well as virtual. I thank you very much, Dinotenda. Thank you.
Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Wenau, for thanking us. Um, we have come to the end of our, um, our session. Um, I would like to once again thank you all for coming to the official opening. And I'm encouraging all of you, um, if you can, uh, stay tuned. We still have some more sessions which are quite interesting. We have another session, session three, which is starting at 11 o'clock. But um, uh, for this session, we, I would like to thank you. We have come to the end of this session. Um, I would like to encourage all of us to remain seated as we allow our, 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 our table to leave. Then we will join virtually. Thank you very much once again. Yes, a good day. <laughs>